Hey guys, it's Jan from UGEM and today I'll show you how to use exclusive features in Studio One to build a track in seconds with our instruments. First we'll have a look at the chord track feature. This allows you to program chord progressions and sync them with our plugins. In this example we'll play along the piano with our virtual bassist Dandy. You could select a key in the key selector of Dandy for staying in the right scale, but in this video we'll use the chord track feature. In this case you don't need to set a key. Click on Global Track Visibility next to the plus icon and select Chords. This will open up a new top bar in your playlist view. To activate it, click on the Follow button in Studio One and inside of the plugin. Now you've successfully synced the plugin with the DAW. Create a MIDI clip and a MIDI note that triggers Virtual Bass's Dandy. Click inside of the top bar to create a chord track. To change the chords, you'll have to open up the chord selector by double-clicking on the chord track. Now you can program any chord progressions you like, which the plugin will play automatically. We're going to use chords from the E major scale, as this will fit to the piano sample. Change up the chord progression until you feel like it could pay your rent. Now we have the right chord track for the bass line. Just like a piano without keys, what is a song without structure? We'll use the sound variations, which allows you to build an arrangement with the phrases and styles from our plugins. Select Sound Variations at the bottom of Studio One's Piano Roll, next to the Velocity settings. Click on the Setup icon to open the Sound Variations Manager. Here you have all the different phrases from Dandy at hand. To start off, we want to introduce the song with an intro fill. Drag and drop the variation from the setup menu inside of the sound variation section. For more flexibility, you can split the MIDI note into more notes, so you can program different variations. For that, select the MIDI note and click on Action. Then, split at Grid or right-click on the MIDI note and select it under the Recent Items. I highly recommend setting the quantization to 1-1, one, one, as this will affect the split of the MIDI note. Changing it to 1-2 will split the MIDI note into twice as much. Now you can introduce more song elements either by clicking on the MIDI note or in the manager of the sound variations. Hold Command or Control for editing the sound variations. Start with basic styles and experiment with more complex phrases or special styles later in the arrangement. Now we have a chord track and different song elements together. Let's take a quick peek into the bass line. We definitely need some drums now. I'm going to use Virtual Drummer Deep. Select some of the phrases in the Sound Variations menu and split the MIDI note at the grid. Start with a breakdown or intro fill and bring in some basic drum phrases for the chorus. Let's have a listen to the drums in context. Cool. Once you're comfortable with this workflow, coming up with tracks is as simple and fast as ever. To fill the mix, we'll add sustain strings that follow the same chord progression as our bass line. Make sure that Follow Chords is activated inside of Strings. 
Please note that after a session reload, the core track feature will not be activated. Switch the Follow Chords button on and off again, so that the feature works properly. Create a MIDI clip and a MIDI note and split at the grid. Open the Sound Variations menu and add some basic phrases. At the end we want to add some claps from our latest percussion plugin GrooveMid1. The sounds can be found using the piano roll key highlighting feature that shows you where you can find all the phrases and one shots of our plugins. Now we can build tracks with our plugins and seconds with Studio One's exclusive chord track and sound variations feature. Please note that you will need to install the VST, as these features are not supported with AU. Here's the final track. Thanks so much for watching and please enjoy. See you next time.